if you take the fast TGV train. This is also the capital of the Champagne region, where the real Champagne gets produced. And home for this big cathedral right behind us, where the French kings got really coronated. And here's so much more to see, and all the places that we are visiting will be linked down below in the description. Yeah, but before we show you, uh, please don't forget to like this video, and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel, because we try to upload every second Sunday. So, with that out of the way, let's get going. So, let's get this day started. First off, coffee. At Columbus, you get your morning coffee. So for breakfast, I would definitely recommend the bagel thing. Here, you can get the best bagels in town. After breakfast, head over to Les Alles in the north of town to purchase great local produce. The variety is huge. You can get everything from fresh milk, veggies and fruits, to flowers as well as meat and fish of course. And you'll even find frog legs, the typical French foie gras and lots of different cheese. This market opens its doors every Saturday until 2 p.m. Just down the street, you'll find a great little bakery shop that became world champion in making desserts. And they well deserve the title, as you find lots of delicious French pastries that are to die for. We just couldn't resist those chocolatey delights. Mmm, so good! After indulging, you might want to go for a stroll through town, either by train or by foot. Rue de Velle is the perfect location to do a little bit of shopping. But don't forget to stop by Boulangerie Tsunik to taste the best baguette and pain au chocolat of your life. Café Louise, this is where you get the best crepes in town if you get a table, of course. And for all your cat lovers, Reims even has a cat cafe. This is what you've all been waiting for. Let's visit a champagne cave. There are several champagne houses located all throughout Reims, and you can book a tour and tasting through their website. Most tours are conducted in French, Spanish, and English. While at Lanson, you get a sense of many years of traditional and proud champagne production. At Tetangy, you get a more modern vibe. I wrote a blog post on visiting the Lanson Champagne House, so take a look in the description down below to find the direct link. Here, we're having a great time at Tetangy. Right around the corner of the Tetangy Champagne House, the Saint Remy Church is located. Come take a look! But of course, it stands in no comparison to the Notre Dame Cathedral in Reims, which is truly one of a kind. Construction was finished by 1516, and then several French kings were coronated right here. take a tour to the top of the cathedral, but be careful, it's only held in French. Once you've climbed up the spiral staircase, the view from up there is just breathtaking. I've always wondered why the towers seemed like they were cut off. Well, the explanation is rather disappointing, as they simply ran out of funds and couldn't build the pointy towers as planned. 
The cathedral is quite pretty by day, but looks especially beautiful at night during the light festival that takes place from May through the end of September. If you get hungry, there are so many restaurants in town. For example, the Café du Palais, where they serve traditional French cuisine. If you're in the mood for Japanese food, Kotia Zushi is the place to go. And the Trois-Brasseurs is definitely our favorite. They are known for their huge beer variety, because Brasseur means actually brewer. If you're looking for a student discount, definitely go to the Hemingway. But today, we are doing something different. Way better. So, let's get a pizza. Perfect. And some white wine. Exactly. And get yourself a really nice date. Perfect. Sounds okay. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye! Bye.